Hey guys, Otto here from Acquisition Partner. In today's video, what I'm gonna show you is a simple way that you can use to bypass the export credit limits on Apollo.io and avoid having to bump up your Apollo uh, credit plan and subscription plan in order to export more email addresses and leads data. So the way that we do this is uh, we need a couple of tools. The first tool, uh, which makes sense, is an Apollo account. Now you can use a free Apollo account, but I definitely recommend bumping up to the first tier of the paid subscription, which I think is $50. Uh, the next tier there and the most popular Apollo plan is the $99 plan. Uh, second to that, what you're gonna need is this Chrome extension here. Now Find Email is one of the best apps that we've ever used in our business to export an unlimited number of leads in a really cost-effective way. Now when you first sign up to uh, Find Email, you are going to get access to a large number of searches for free. Now I can't remember, because uh, it's a while back um, since I signed up, but I can't remember how many export credit limits, uh, export credit um, tokens I got for free, uh, but I remember it was uh, something that surprised me at the time. It was, it was actually quite a large number compared to other tools that might be out there. Now, once you've signed up to your Find Email account, and I'll drop a link down below in the description, you want to just click over here, to export with Apollo. Now the instructions here are just slightly uh, dated, but I believe it's because the export uh, instructions for Apollo are the same for Sales Navigator as well. So you can watch the video here if you want to, um, but I'm gonna show you how to easily get this set up. So the second thing is you wanna install Find Email's Chrome extension. Okay, so very simple. Just go to your Chrome web store, type in Find Email, this is the one you need, and what it's gonna do is drop your extension up here, okay? So the next thing you need to do is get your Find Email API key. And we do this by going here. I've already created one that's already synced to uh, my Apollo account. Um, and what it's gonna do is basically give you a unique API key uh, that you can then use to sync to uh, your extension here, which you'll then enter in the API key, um, which gives you all the steps you need in order to jump straight over to Apollo to get started. Now, for those who uh, maybe aren't aware, I've already alluded to it now, there are different plans with Apollo, and the thing to note with each of the individual plans that you're potentially going to pay for is the varying number of export credits that you get per month. Now, Apollo will also charge you for um, other credits in your plan, so uh, what I'll do is just Go on down here to email credits. Now, every time you save uh, a lead within your Apollo account or save a search or save a lead within a list, um, every time you uh, toggle for the email to be saved and captured too, it's gonna take some of your credits there. Okay, so that's an important consideration here. It means that eventually, as you save down leads and more leads that are relevant to your um, ideal customer profile um, and your target market, you're going to get to a point where you're gonna need to bump up your account. Now, the real sort of bread and butter with Apollo is actually the export credits because a lot of you who are using Apollo won't be using Apollo's native um, engagement sequences through emails. You'll be using your own um, ESP like Instantly um, or other email service providers that you can use multiple burner domains on. So the important consideration here is that when you sign up to Apollo, the export credit limit is actually very small. Okay, so. Downloading uh, and exporting a thousand emails per month, if you're uh, anybody who's doing cold outreach as a consultant or for your agency, you're gonna know first of all that that's an incredibly low volume to be tackling. Um, and any increase or subs, uh, uh, sort of subsequent increase in the export credits that you are gonna need is going to really make your account a lot more expensive. Okay, so for 2,000 uh, additional export credits, you're gonna be paying $150 a month 4,000, you're gonna be paying, what, $250 a month? Uh, so $200 a month, 10K, the price just goes up and up and up and it's gonna become um, you know, an extortionate sort of variable cost for, for your prospecting campaigns. So what you want to uh, do once you've got um, Find Email uh, plugged in is you wanna just take a look at some of the subscription options here. Now. I definitely recommend getting used to the platform, just using the free export credits that you've got. But here, look, on the $99, pound, uh, $99 starter plan per month, you're getting 5,000 emails exports uh, per month. Okay, so for $99, that's 5,000 emails that you can get access to. And if you were to do that on, um, on or through Apollo, uh, through bumping up your plan, 
it's uh, going to be considerably more than that. Okay. So let's just jump straight into how you can do this. Okay. So there's a couple of key things that you have to note with downloading uh, leads through Apollo through your uh, Finding Mail Chrome extension. And the first thing is that there is various. Uh, there's pretty much no way to get around the limitations that Apollo put on how they present their data. So that means how many uh, rows of leads and data that they um, schedule per page through their database and how much you can actually export. If you're on the $99 uh, plan per month, you can select a thousand people. If you're on less than that, it's less, I think it's 250 in the free plan, it might even be 25 or, or less than that. Um, but what you wanna do and what you will find is that when you do a, uh, a search in Apollo, okay, and what I'm gonna do is go to one of my saved searches here. You're gonna find that at a top level, the number of leads that you've got goes over the, the total number that you are able to export in one go through Find Email. Okay, and currently there's no workaround to that, but I'm gonna show you exactly how you can solve this problem really, really easily. So a lead list here that, um, that we downloaded with our business, we wanted to target English speaking medical healthcare companies um, in the main English speaking areas throughout the world. Okay, so UK, Australia, New Zealand, and North America, USA. But what we found here is that obviously that list is, um, uh, the, the spread of that list is too wide. So the total number of leads that we've got in there um, exceeds the total number that we can export in, export in one go through Find Email. Now, Find Email will only export 2,500 emails at uh, when, any one time. And we'll show that by clicking here. Um, and the way that you can do this is, uh, the, uh, get around this is the way that I'm gonna show you now. Okay, so the first, the first workaround here is if you've got a wide, if you're casting a wide net for all your leads and you're going worldwide, the most simplest way to reduce your leads list size and categorize them is by the location. So what we do is we then uh, separated our large 5K list here into UK only, uh, USA and Canada. Now the reason we've got two lists for uh, the USA is that we then realize that if we toggle for the USA, there's actually still too many leads. Uh, it exceeds 2.5K export limit through Find Email. So we had to get uh, more granular with our data and we did that by um, further niching down this, this selected audience by the total number of employees. Okay, so originally we were targeting um, uh, English speaking medical healthcare companies um, throughout the main English speaking territories around the world with employees from uh, a number of three to 40. Well, for the USA, there was too many. Um, so we had to reduce the numbers further and we did that by the employees here. For the other searches, so for example, UK only, we f fell within that uh, export limit uh, and the same with uh, Canada here. Now it's really simple. Once you've done that, all you have to do is click export CSV and uh, it's gonna automatically select the total number of uh, leads that you've got here. And the next implication here is that because you're paying for uh, export credit uh, credits on Apollo, if you've got a paid plan, and you'll also be paying for Find Email, you wanna make sure that you're not doubling up on what you're spending, okay? So if you're on a paid plan with Apollo, you can still use the export credits that you've got within that plan, um, and you wanna separate those um, from being used at the same time that you are exporting your uh, your emails through Find Email. Now, um, there's various sort of uh, ways that you can save down these leads, but it's very simple. Once you click Export to CSV, Find Email is just gonna run through all of these it's gonna go through all of the pages step by step, downloading every single relevant piece of information that you're gonna need here. Um, and then it's gonna save it up here in your downloads folder as a CSV file. I'm not gonna do it for this one because this is a leads list we've already used and um, there's no point using up further more of my credits. So um, it's a simple workaround and uh, something we definitely recommend using. If you're in a position where you are um, struggling to get an, enough B2B data uh, because of the limitations of, of platform costs, or maybe you're just starting out and you don't have a lot of uh, money or a big budget to actually spend on paying for these platforms, using a, uh, a Chrome extension like Find Email is uh, a really good way that you can uh, maximize the total number of B2B leads that you're able to get your hands on. So hopefully that makes sense to all of you guys. Uh, it's a really quick and simple implementation here. Uh, like I say, join Find Email, sign up for an account, download the Chrome extension, use the free credits that they give you. Like I said, I don't remember how many I got, but it was a, it was a large number. And uh, get started. Let me know how you get on with this. I've also got another video on my channel um, that 
shows you step by step how to use a data scraper Chrome extension plugin to export emails from Apollo uh, totally for free as well. So check that video out. I'll uh, link that in the description below. All right, guys, hope you're all well. Any questions you have, just drop me a comment below and I'll be more than happy to help. Cheers.